Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Brett Madigan and welcome back to Mad Again. And I got caught out by the B560 VRM trap. As outlined by Hardware Unboxed in May 2021 about ASRock and other vendors lying to consumers about supported CPUs and TDPs. In my case, the B560M HDV is the culprit. I purchased this board on December 31st, 2021 without knowing its flaws. Which means ASRock never bothered to recall this model or even add a warning label on the box. Obviously they wanted people to still buy the thing, but there's also a V2 model. So why is the V1 still on the shelves and still able to be bought when there's a V2 model? I don't know if the V2 model still struggles from this VRM issue. <laughs> I'm not gonna go buy one. So why was the V2 model even announced or released and not handed over to retailers or even swapped with the existing uh, stock from retailers. Why are retailers still selling this board? Or at least not telling consumers that there may be a problem and just buy something else, you know? In regards to the design flaw that Hardware Unboxed found, which was this board only supports up to a maximum of 100 watts. Out of the box, it also only supports 65 watt CPUs. This means that any CPU that has a TDP of 65 watts or higher will be heavily handicapped, aka throttled by the VRM on this board. Despite how much you spend on a motherboard, you should not have to deal with this sort of problem. Meaning that you buy a motherboard, it should be able to support the CPU that you bought. Unless it's like a, I don't know, like a cheapo Chinese knockoff board or something like that, then sure, you'd expect to run into issues but not from someone like ASUS, Gigabyte, or even ASRock. The fact that this flaw and outright misleading the consumer wasn't being discussed by other YouTubers with more of an audience is a little concerning to me. Now, I have the i9-11900K, thinking that it had a TDP of 125 watts, but using this motherboard under any sort of stress test, the CPU drops to 65 watts or thereabouts. Obviously, you don't want that to happen when under load. Being completely honest, I thought that that was some kind of AVX offset bullshit that was happening with this motherboard. It turns out that it, it's just under load, it just throttles itself. This sort of behavior is totally unacceptable, regardless of what CPU or motherboard you have. This issue should never have occurred for anyone. And to not have them outline that this could be a problem or just say anything about the issue, publicly is concerning. Even if there was a label on the box that stated any CPU that has a higher TDP of 65 watts may not be fully supported, I probably wouldn't agree with that either because that's knowing that there's a flaw and accepting it onto the market. Now, how that could be a further problem is by having Z590 boards also having this sort of thing where it just can't overclock or can't run certain amount of voltage or whatever, or it just has a hard cutoff point or something like that. These sort of issues trickle down or trickle up depending on where it's coming from. In this case, it's from the lower end boards. So it may trickle, trickle higher up, which is kind of, I don't know. I don't like that idea. The fact that this is still going on and this issue was founded in, or found out about in May and still exists in December 31st, 2021. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this sort of shit passed QA or even QC at this point. Cause they knew that this was a problem. They just never said anything about it. And from someone that adored ASRock when everyone hated them, they were giving you eight SATA ports back in the day when everyone moved to six. Now they've gone to four, and now this issue? I mean, come on. I only noticed an issue when I ran Cinebench R15. Yes, I still use the old one, whatever. <laughs> and noted that the power draw was over 125 watts at idle, but the instant I ran a benchmark, the CPU instantly throttled at around 65 watts with a clock speed of 3.7 gigahertz. Living in Australia, obviously I'm able to get a refund due to the nature of this floor. However, you shouldn't be thinking about this when buying something. Regardless of whether this is a motherboard, TV, 
bed, whatever, you know, you should not have to think about using your consumer guarantees when buying something. And this to be a widespread problem with the B50, B560, B560, there you go, yeah, B560 boards at all. You shouldn't have to go into this thinking, oh, you know, which one works, which one doesn't. You shouldn't have to go into it thinking that. Yes, the B-series boards have always been the non-overclockable boards, but I cannot recall an instance of seeing them throttle an entire CPU generation upon launch. So before I go, here is my ASRock Z77 Extreme 6 motherboard. Remember when they had eight SATA ports? Yeah, dude, you don't see that shit anymore. So I've enjoyed having ASRock boards for ages. So this, for me, is kind of like a, a middle finger like, obviously, I don't know them personally or anything like that. But I always associated ASRock with quality boards, even though most people hated ASRock at the time that I bought this board. But for me, this was the only thing that allowed my CPU to overclock efficiently. Now, there's no excuse for this behavior. You can't say, oh, it's because of a chip shortage or none of that bullshit. Doesn't matter. It's still released to the public. You went through quality control. You would have known these issues existed. And to not even mention them? Utter disgraceful. So, special thanks to Hardware Unbox for finding all this stuff out. But at the same time, retailers shouldn't be stocking the boards that do have problems with their VRMs because of that video. Obviously, they're not going to take one person's word for it. That's exactly why I made this video. Just to back up Hardware Unbox's claims by stating that, yes, this board is full of, sh full of shit and just don't buy it. So, looks like I'm uh, upgrading to the Gigabyte Z590 board. I don't know when that's coming. That's still in the post. Thanks, Australia Post. I'm going to end this video now. I'm just rambling. Anyway, bye! Oh, fuck. It's too hot in this room.